Get over here! Jafar and Nino, Black Fang assassins. Although Hector cannot forget his hatred for Nurgle's former henchman Jafar, Hector allows him to join the group, with Nino at his side. That night. What? Dun, dun, dun! What? What happened that night? What happened that night? I need to know! We will find out. I need to know now, Oscar. Patience, my friend. Okay. Patience. I'm sorry, Master. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Chapter 28X of Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I am the Green Scorpion. And I am the Comic Foil. And here we actually start with Nino and Jafar having a very interesting conversation in the middle of the night. Why? It is very late. Well, then, we're about to find out. Mmm. Nino was trying to, uh, ditch the group. Well, maybe not ditch the group, but she wants answers. But Jafar... So she was going to leave the group for now. Yeah, like to she see... Was, she was running off. She wanted to go see Sonya because... Doesn't that sound like a bad idea? <laughs> yeah. And Jafar's like, of course it's a bad idea. No, not to the water oh temple. Oh my god, no, no! Anywhere but there. No. You know what the sad part is? The frustration kind of matches. Hmm. We should bring an extra key, just in case they don't have enough there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ha, <laughs> I went there. Yeah. Come at me, Miyamoto. Hmm. Jafar knows just how dangerous she is. Yeah. She just wants to see Mother. And now you can, because it's been translated and released on the Wii U Virtual Console. You're just gonna keep on pitching that, aren't you? Uh-huh. Okay. Guys, go download Mother. And that's a touching moment right there. Like, Nino mentions that Sonya's the only mother she's got. Jafar expresses that that's something he's never going to understand. And then they have, like, this moment where she's, like, she, like, apologizes for being insensitive, and he's like, don't worry about it. These two. Yeah. I love these two. Like, Jafar went from extremely, like, extremely threatening to the point where I was petrified of meeting him, to suddenly, there's more to him. I don't know if we're gonna get the time to, uh, fully flesh them out, but we can try. We can try. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do some support grinding at some point. By the way, look at Hector's expression. Yeah, he's, He's uh... like, he's not sure about this. Hmm... He does not want to. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I have a feeling he's been holding this in since we... Oh, he has been. ...since we first got to him at the manse. Hmm. Okay, but killed Layla. He did kill Layla, but think about it. Right there. He was just following orders. He also killed Elbert, technically. Um, no. He didn't. Well, the last thing that had happened to Elbert was Jafar stabbed him, and then Elbert attacked Nurgle and then died in Elwood's arms. So I, I always assumed he bled out. I thought it was the fact that he he had his quintessence stolen. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. You know, that's a good point. Because remember... Oh, yeah, his... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Remember what Ninian said. Yeah. Like, his, the cause of his death was the quintessence being stolen from him. Jafar didn't kill him. The only person he killed was Layla, and that was on an order. Well, I'm sure he's killed lots of other people besides it, Layla. Well, obviously, but you know what I mean. Also, okay, it was because of the quintessence, but I don't think being stabbed helped with that. And I like this moment. Hector expresses that he's always going to see Jafar as an enemy. You know, I think that's he's all like, right. That's not what I said. I want him to stay alive. And he's like, he must live so that he can suffer for all he's done. He kind of finds a middle ground here. The only reason he wants Jafar alive is just, like, he just wants to give Elawood and Lin a satisfactory answer. But... He's not going to admit that he wants him alive for, like, any other purpose. I mean, Hector's just kind of saying what I'm surprised nobody else ever says, which is that we let a lot of our enemies on this team. 
I mean, that's kind of what Fire Emblem is all about. How many people have tried to kill us on this team? Like, Guy, Heath, uh, later we're gonna have Veda if we're good enough. Alright, so here we have Sonya and Lamstella. Hmm. Hey, you puppet. Oh, yeah, this is the moment right here. Me thinks the woman doth protest too much. Hmm. And here we have Brendan. Brendan. I mean, Sony's uh -oh. obviously not. Just saying, she looks just like Limp Stella. I don't know how oh, yeah. Sonya's kept up this charade for herself. It's not even a charade. She really thinks she's human. I know. I mean, for herself. Right. I don't know. Maybe she thought she was, like, the model for the morphs or something. Something like that. Uh-oh. And, yeah, they're all morphs. Everyone here is a morph, except for you, Brendan. Ugh. You know, if I had put more thought into it, she might have made it onto my top 10 femme fatales. Um, I guess so. She, that's kind of what she is. In fact, no, that's exactly what she is. Yeah. Yeah, she did that. She's a, uh, she's a black widow would be the term. Yeah, that's probably the best. That's probably a good way to put it. Ugh. Well, there goes Brendan. Yeah, there goes Brendan Reed. We don't even fight him. Nope. I'm just saying, he looks, he looks like he would have been a good boss. And it seems that Sonya actually got injured a bit from him. Yeah. He looks like he would put up a fight. Oh, yeah. L Limstel is like, hey, do you want me to take your post while you rest? And Sonya's like, heck no. Get out of here, morph. Yeesh. That, that sound effect just bothers me. Oh, yeah, and there's this guy. Um, oh, yeah. I think I know. I think I remember who he is. It's Uncle Jan. Yeah. They kind of just throw this guy in. Like, oh, you remember Uncle Jan. You don't remember Uncle Jan? <laughs> oh, well, he's, uh, he's the uh -oh. one person who was nice to me now. Also, apparently he's a brigand. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't tell your kid to shut up. That's right, she's not even yours. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yep, there, there it is, right there. Dunna. Do we ever learn more about what this famed house was um, of these magic users? I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of, like, uh, support conversation that would uh, reveal some more details about this. Huh. I know there's something in the wiki about it. Huh. I, I personally don't remember what it is. I just realized we're in the water temple and we have to fight morphs. Because the boss of the water temple and not green enough time was Morpha. Uh, I don't know, just kind of weird, weird thing. But yeah, we're pretty much getting the gist here that Sonya is the one who killed Nino's parents. Only because she used Nino as a shield. A mewling little whelp. Ugh. That's a funny way to describe a baby. I guess? I, I guess that's what babies are. They're mewling little whelps, but you don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> what I want to know is why Nurgle thought it was a good idea for Sonya to raise Nino. I don't know. I feel like that was just kind of hoping for disaster. The, I mean, Nino can become a really powerful mage, so I guess this family that Nino came from was really powerful. And Most Nurgle, likely. And Nurgle wanted to have one of them. Because, uh, you know what? I find it funny that Jafar is saying this, and yet for some reason it still feels fitting. Hmm. It's like, 
isn't he isn't he one to talk a little yeah there you go yep yeah Jafar Jafar who's described himself as a walking corpse before mm -hmm. is saying that Sonya is cold and dead inside here we go Yeah, this is a kind of out of character for what we previously established about Jafar. Yeah, but it's not un it's not totally unwarranted oh, because no. yeah, yeah, we don't we still don't know too much about him. They say his heart grew three sizes that day. And here we have our lords to the rescue. Jafar has nothing to say to that, which. I think is probably the best thing he could say. <laughs> yeah, just just <laughs> just stay quiet, Jafar. Hector doesn't want to hear it from you right now. Oh Jesus. Quick, equip the iron boots. So this is the gimmick of this level, and it's annoying. The sinners who will hurt Nurgle. Okay, that's hilarious. I mean, I know every every villain is the protagonist of their own story, but like, Sonia, what what do you think you're doing right exactly? I I'm. Just, I don't understand. Oh, I didn't. Hey, I don't think I've ever seen this conversation. Yep, yep. Is this what happens when they're full support? Yes. I did not know that. I think so. Aww. <laughs> Did you get wet? No. Aww, that's so adorable! <laughs> Actually, no, I think I got that same conversation when I was just playing and I didn't have them at full support. Oh, okay, maybe it's a Hector story exclusive. Yeah, maybe. It might just, it just might be. Yeah, because, um... I was playing, just for the heck of it, I did Lynn and Ellawood full support. Just because I knew we were going to be playing this and doing Hector Lynn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to see different stuff. Mm -hmm. But it just, it doesn't feel right. It, I feel like it has to be, it has to at least be Ellawood and Ninian. Mm -hmm. um, probably should be Hector Lynn. Though there's a lot of other good supports for Hector. I agree. Now pretty much the whole... The whole importance of this chapter, and I love it, which is weird because it's a side chapter. Yeah. We kill Sonya, we destroy the link between Nurgle and the Black Fang. Oh man, let's do that. So, once we kill Sonya, the Black Fang is no longer under Nurgle's control. Well, except it's entirely comprised of morphs now. For the time being. Yeah. We'll have to see what happens, but for now, we got some preparations to make, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah! Here we begin. Oh boy. And there's a lot going on here. Got a lot of enemies to deal with, both both uh, standard and powerful. We got a lot of a lot of scenarios going here. We got Sonya over here with a bolting and a fell contract. We need it. We need that. Well. Got to get it. Got to get it for Matthew. Mm-hmm. She's also got the most powerful spell, uh, anima spell in the game. Fim Fim Belvert. Fim 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 Belvater. Fim Fim Belvater. Fim Belvater. Fim Belvater. Fim Belvater. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but it's very uh, Norse sounding. That's what I was thinking. It looks very Norse. I'm actually inclined to look that up. I'll do it right now. We also have like a few chests over here. Here's the kicker, though. We don't have Merlinus with us. Yeah, this is the one chapter in the game that you actually can't bring Merlinus. It's weird. <sighs> but we're gonna have to deal. Also, we got Jafar with us. 
and this is gonna be awesome. Yep, this is gonna be great. We finally, welcome to the team, Jafar. Yep, first of all, we're gonna take this guy out because he's, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Um, Fimbovitur refers to a great, mighty, cataclysmic winter which is meant to precede Ragnarok, the destruction of Asgard. Is that it? Yes. A that is really cool. That's freaking awesome. And fitting, because we did predict that it is Norse. Yes. I right. like it. Good job. Good job, Fire Emblem. And good job, Florina, for taking out that sniper. Yeah, nice Norse. So now we got a, uh... So now we got a, uh... A ballista here, which we're gonna get Will to right away. And Farina gonna do the classic take drop. You take to, take and drop. You take him, you drop him. All right then. Um, if I if I recall correctly, this guy's got a bolting, but yeah. a mage is not gonna do much. This Please. guy's a level six mage. Yeah. What are you doing here? Okay then. Man, um, is he getting more? Wow. When Nino, he's weak. Still stronger than Nino. <laughs> he is. I mean, I'm inclined to try and level Nino up, but we can try it. Yeah. We're gonna see. Anyway, we're gonna start moving everyone else up this way. Yep. Because these paths are gonna disappear after a while. Yeah. So, let's get moving. Um, um, if a path disappears under a character... They are stuck there. Yeah, they're pretty much stranded, unless yep. they're a flyer or a pirate. Yep, and that's why we brought the Pegasisters with us. Yep. I, I mean, I like... You know, I've grown to like saying that. Uh, saying that phrase. The Pegasisters? Yes. Yeah, we're we're owning it. We're I mean, I, I I mean, I know it's like I know it, it might be cringeworthy, but I don't care. I like it. It's also, a it's a portmanteau. Mm -hmm. Also, by the way, Hector, we are giving the boots to. All right. So this will increase movement, which is amazing. Good job, boots. Woo! All right, gonna keep those two together, and aside from that, we can we can uh, let the enemy do its thing. All right. All right. Yeah, we got wyvern riders, which is going to be a problem. Man, everybody. Sony really is, Sony really has like everything going for her with this group. Yeah. She's got I do I do flyers. wish I could dart with a melee weapon, but whatever. We got flyers coming in, both Pegasi and Wyverns. We got ranged mages. We got archers taking control of ballistas. We got fast moving horses on the ground. Surprisingly targeted dart. Nope. Man, 0% hit to... What are you doing with your life, <laughs> Black Fang Mage? You could have gone to college. I, okay, I... now I am glad he's... He... Oh! Now I am glad I equipped him with the hand axe. I don't think that Pegasus Rider was glad. No, she wasn't. And neither is this one. See? Again! You made the right Dark, decision. calm down! Without even thinking about it, you made the right decision. That's how good we are at Fire Emblem I'm right okay now. with this. Yeah. 